Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I will be checking out a new track from the Callous Dow Boys. This is the third and final track taken from their EP, God Smiles Upon the Callous Dow Boys. I covered both of the other two tracks on the channel. Pushing the Pink Envelope is my favorite of the two that have been out so far, but today we will be checking out Designer Shroud of Turin, which features pulses. So very excited to check this out. Dow Boys are incredible. I've mentioned it before on the channel, but if you have the chance to go see them live, I highly encourage you to do so. Seeing them live was got, what got me way further into the band that I had been than I had been previously. I had listened to them before. I had liked what I heard, but seeing them live sealed the deal for me. And now at this point on at the very end of this month, I'll be seeing them for the third time this year. So a band that I tried never to miss. The EP has been fantastic. They're working with the Swamp Sound now. All of that is stuff I've talked about in my previous two videos for this EP. I am going to stop talking. We are going to get straight into this new track.
the Callus Dow Boys Designer Shroud of Turin featuring pulses. Let's discuss. In just the first 30 seconds of this song, you can pick out a lot of what makes it unique. There is nothing else that I've heard come out of this year that sounds anything like this track. And I think the first single, Waco Jesus, was the most tame of these three songs, pushing the pink envelope felt much more Dowboys style, even though I think it would be hard for them to put out a track that doesn't Waco Jesus on its own when you don't take in co into consideration the rest of their discography and such. It still has the Dowboys sound, but not turned up in the, the more chaotic portions or uh, the wackier side of things that I like in a, like aligned with what I would expect, I suppose. Kind of hard to word with a band that is this unique and includes stuff. Uh, when you look at Celebrity Therapist, some of the stuff that came out of that record is just nothing that you would ever hear mixed into any type of core with most other bands. They bring in a lot of the mathier elements, but they just do it in a way that is so unique. Uh, this track is an excellent example of that. Like I mentioned, I felt like pushing the pink envelope kind of went more into that sort of territory, but this would be the, the track I consider to be like the most wacky. There is a lot to unpack with this. You have what I am, I'm 95-ish percent sure was clarinet in this track, which nothing that I have listened to in the last like, you know, any anything recent at all really I, I would be confident to say that has anything like that in it you have a really interesting chorus that provides a, a completely different mood i think than anything else in their discography but at the same time as you're listening to it it has that like dow boys energy i guess that I, I was referencing before some of the transitions some of the the stuff that's used in here that is just not at all what you would expect if you were to gather all the ingredients or whatever for a, a lot of the core songs that are popular from this year last year the last five years <laughs> the list of ingredients would not be the same as the the main ingredients on this track i don't think uh, other than like some of those riffs which are also wacky they are exactly what i'm looking for although Waco Jesus has one of my favorite Dow Boys riffs in it. This track has uh, some of that play on like the almost like taunting sort of style with some of them. It blends into some bigger riffs as well. I am 100% here for that. Also vocally this has, you know, what I was talking about with this chorus and it bringing something you know new sonic leads to the table uh, there is also stuff like the lows that i'm looking for in in their music that they have in their discography that just really stands out uh, we get that here we have a disgusting drop which will is going to be something i need to go and give a bunch more it's or a bunch more attention to that, that, that makes sense enough uh, but i'm gonna have to go give a lot more attention to that portion of it because i i couldn't tell what kind of vocal drop it was at that point but it was it was a big old drop there so the the heavy elements the really wacky riffs or the you know stuff like the clarinet or you know outside of your typical instruments that we're getting on a lot of stuff that we're listening to all of those details make this feel like a callous Dow Boys track, obviously it is, but when you look at what makes them so different, I think, than any other band that I'm listening to right now, this is the most Dow Boys feeling track, so I really like that they saved this as the last one. The Pulses feature could not work any better than it does, and it plays into what makes this track different rather than kind of building that feature on the, the overlap with you know, the stuff that's that's more traditional or, or whatever for this style of music, it plays more into the opposite side of that, which I love and I think is is even more kind of, of a creative flex, if that makes sense. So I'm, there's, uh, once again, this is like the fifth track, I think. I'm sitting down today to film for the first time in like over two weeks. There are songs I have been chomping at the bit to get to this being one of them and each one has absolutely delivered on it 
but this has to be one of the, the top tracks that I've listened to in my comeback. So everything that I had high expectations for, this is going to be one of the tracks that delivered the most on what I was anticipating and such. This EP shows, I think, Waco Jesus, like I mentioned. It brings a little bit of something more tame, a little bit different, but still has the Dowboy style in it. Pushing the pink envelope is kind of the middle of the road song when you it does lean i think it leans a little more in this direction but middle of the road when you look at the comparison being just those three tracks and then you have this one which felt turned all the way up and all the the wackiness the sounds that we associate with this band and i'm very much here for it i do need to wrap this up since i'm running along the length of the song time but in addition to the, you know, what I'm talking about with like the heaviness, the wackiness and some of those riffs and such, they come and they match that with, you know, the bridge section, parts of the song that kind of tap into that like smoother sound. It is seamless and it works so well. They do both sides flawlessly. This will be a track that gets a ton of plays from me. I, I would be pretty confident saying this will be my favorite off the EP even after listening to it once. I think this will pass pushing the pink envelope pretty quickly for me because of everything that I've talked about in this outro pretty much. Uh, but all three tracks will go on to the playlist for me. We got treated this year with this three track EP. I think the Dow Boys working with the Swamp Sound is an ex like an excellent combination, but it would be hard to... <clears throat> I don't want to make this sound at all. I think that is one of the most ideal outcomes because I think it's a really cool collaboration there. Uh, but it would be hard to see, I think, the Dow Boys make a decision where they go with someone who can't help them kind of maximize that, that sound that they, that people are starting to, you know, line up with hearing the name, the Callous Dow Boys. So those are my thoughts on first listen with this track i don't have anything i would want to see differently from it this will be my favorite from the ep very likely but i'm sure as i finish at the end of december talking about this year this will be one of those things i revisit and kind of put a period at the end of that sentence for so those are my thoughts on first listen let me know which of the three songs is your favorite in the comments what you thought of the ep as I mentioned, I will include the visualizer I used in the reaction portion of this, any sort of merch for the Dow Boys. All of their social media and promotional links will be in the description of this video. They are going to be on tour more this year. So as I mentioned before, if you haven't got to see them yet and they're coming near you, or if you have, then you know, uh, definitely try not to miss those shows. I will be seeing them again at the end of this month, and I cannot wait, hoping to hear some all of these tracks at the show but you really can't go wrong i'm gonna stop talking now all of my links that you may need related to my channel will be in the description of this video in the link tree that includes my patreon my what do i have my twitch channel my discord server which is where the community is based for my youtube channel all of that will be in the description of this video i'm getting everything back going i had a two plus week break that i was not planning on taking I was away from my setup, unable to stream, unable to film, which sucked, but I'm going to be getting back into streaming, getting everything sorted out, so if you want to be notified when I get my streaming schedule going again on Twitch, I'm going to be doing my song request streams, but we'll be ending the year with a lot more than just song request streams, a bunch of music related things, and that will also carry over into Patreon, our end of the year list, the playlists I make for tier 3, everything I offer is listed out if you want to take a look. As always, thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it.